People with cystic fibrosis could expect to live longer and have a better quality of life with a new drug which has shown promising results in recent trials. Researchers in Brisbane and Melbourne hospitals have played a lead role in the multinational research which could see the drug made available within five years. Ben and James Crew were born nine years apart, both with cystic fibrosis. Got good footwork, phenomenal footwork actually. It's been a hard slog. Ben received a double lung transplant last year. Everything that should have just been second nature does tax you and, and, and take, take a lot out of you. At the end of last year, younger brother James took part in the trial of a new drug. He says the results were immediate. I think before the trial I was about 64% lung capacity and within a week I was up in the 90s. Um, it was just very quick onset, very rapid, um, rapid progress. He had more energy, um, he wasn't getting sick as often. He's eating us out of house and home, he's putting on weight, muscle. The new drug combines with two existing medications used to treat cystic fibrosis, targeting the most common gene mutation known as 508. 90% of the CF population have at least one of those 508 mutations and these drugs are treating or aiming to treat the protein from that 508 mutation. Hi Tammy, Rebecca, hello. Dr Lucy Burr is the Director of Cystic Fibrosis at Brisbane's Mater Hospital, which was part of the multinational trial. She says the results showed significant improvement in lung function. The average life expectancy is less than 40 years old, so really it could it potentially increase life expectancy for all patients. Cystic fibrosis affects about 3,000 Australians. The third and final phase of this trial is now underway, with results expected early next year. Depending on those findings, the new drug could be available within five years. Leonie Mellor, ABC News. To find